Hello, and welcome to 5 Minutes About Pulsar. My name is Chris Latimer, and I'm on the streaming team at Datastacks. Today, we're going to be talking about a really cool feature of Pulsar called Shared Subscriptions. And if you want to follow along, but you don't have a Pulsar deployment ready to go, head over to astro.datastacks.com slash register streaming, and you can get an instance of Pulsar up and running in just about a minute. And should you have any questions about Pulsar or this video, you can email us at pulsarquestions at datastacks.com, and that's going to reach the entire team at Datastacks that works on Pulsar. If you've used other messaging platforms in the past, you are probably familiar with the work queue pattern. The idea here is that you're going to have a producer that's going to push messages onto a topic. And then rather than just have one consumer pick those messages up, we want to equally distribute the messages to multiple consumers so that they can be processed in parallel. If you were somebody like YouTube and you have videos that are being uploaded all day and you tried to have just a single consumer process those, this topic would get really, really backed up and nobody would ever get their videos. And so instead, what you want to do is you want to have a potentially large number of consumers working their way through that topic as quickly as possible. And the way that Pulsar supports this is with a subscription type. And there are four subscription types that Pulsar supports. So exclusive, failover, and key shared are a topic for another day. But the one we're going to be looking at here is the shared subscription type. That's going to tell Pulsar that I'm going to have multiple consumers attached to this subscription, and I want you to equally distribute the messages across those consumers in a round-robin fashion. Now let's jump into Pulsar and see how we set this up. Shared subscriptions are going to work in any version of Pulsar that you may be using, but the version I'm going to use here today is Datastack's Astra Streaming. It's a cloud-hosted version of Pulsar that's really easy to get started with, and I already have a streaming tenant set up. And so I'm going to come over here into topics and I'm going to add a topic called shared example and create this. I could have used the CLI just as well, but uh, the, the UI is just uh, easier for demo purposes. And so now that we have this set up, let's jump into the IDE and see how we can create a producer that's going to send messages to this topic and multiple consumers that will use a shared subscription to consume those messages. Here in the IDE, you can see that we have two classes. We have a simple producer and a simple consumer. On the producer side, we're going to start off by creating a Pulsar client, attaching to the service URL, and then using that client to create a producer. We're going to tell Pulsar that we want to attach to the shared example topic, and then we're going to loop from 0 to 999, creating messages of the format hello world 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, so on and so forth, all the way up until 999. And for each one of those messages, we're going to push that onto the shared example topic. Consumer, it's going to start very similar by creating a Pulsar client. We're going to use that client to create a new consumer attached to the same topic. And here's the interesting part. This line here that says subscription type, this is where we tell Pulsar that we're going to use the shared subscription type. And that indicates that we're going to have multiple consumers each attached to the same topic and processing part of the messages. We want Pulsar to evenly distribute across those messages. And once we see those, we'll output those and we'll see that in action right now. So I've got uh, some terminal windows ready to go. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start uh, client. So I pre-built a jar before this with the client class as the uh, main class for that jar. And so I'm just going to do that sort of three times. And I'm going to clear the contents of this window just so it's going to be a little easier for us to see the messages as they flow through. So right now I've got three clients that are running. And if we come back to the IDE, I'm going to kick off that producer. And so we're going to start that up and we'll come back to our windows. And here before too long, what we'll see is what we should see is that messages are going to start to be picked up by these consumers and it's going pretty good, but maybe we want it to go faster. And I can create two more consumers down here. And as soon as I do, they're active and they're starting to pick up messages as well. So we're now processing in parallel across five different consumers instead of the three we started with. And if you're coming from a background with the platform like Kafka, where you've got consumer groups that are much more fixed and tightly coupled to partitions, you don't have that problem here with Pulsar. It's much more dynamic and really much uh, better fit for things like microservices where you're going to be scaling up your instances up and down and you don't want to have um, you know, a static number of services. I mean, that's why we do microservices is so we can independently scale them. Pulsar is a really, really great fit for that. 
So that's it. That's kind of how we create a work queue pattern within Pulsar. Hopefully this video was useful to you. If it was, please click the like button. It's going to help more people find this video and we want to get as many people using Pulsar as possible. So if you could like, share, or subscribe, those are all going to help us out quite a lot. If you'd like to try out Astro Streaming, that is the Pulsar as a service from Datastacks that we saw in today's video, head over to astro.datastacks.com slash register streaming. And if you have any questions about Pulsar, have an issue that you need help with, you can reach the team at Datastacks that works on Pulsar at pulsarquestions, all one word, at datastacks.com. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.